Hello and welcome to Jesse Fit Pilates, your home to get fit, toned, and flexible as we strengthen, stretch, and smile ways. It is the last and final day of my 14 day fit core challenge, and I am so excited you're here. You did it. 13 workouts completed. You are absolutely on your way to have absolutely fabulous abs. Today's workout is going to be all about the core and some stretching because I don't know about you, but after the last two weeks, I'm pretty sore in quite a few places, but as you know, your abs need to support your spine all day, so you really can train your abs every day. So you don't really need any equipment for this workout. You can always have a yoga block or a yoga strap around if you need that to assist you if you're tight or you have some balance issues. If you're just joining your yoga or your Pilates journey, then use all the props, guys. They really will make your life easier. We are going to get started. We are going to start today with a standing warm-up. So I'm standing with my feet about shoulder distance apart and I'm all about the circles today. First, I want you to press your toes down. Let's just go toe wall heel a few times. I really like doing these in the beginning because your feet, all of your movement or your unicorn hooks, of course, all of your galloping and prancing stems from your feet. And if there's an imbalance in the way that you're holding your foot position, it can really affect the entire workout. So now that you've gone to a wall heel, I want you to press all 10 toes down, squeeze your thighs up, squeeze your belly up, and let's just start with some little neck side bends, right? Here to one side, my shoulders are back, my spine is tall, and then if it feels good, we're going to go right into some slow circles. So I take my ear to one side, back over through that side, all through the center. My abs stay super tight. I'm going to keep my fingers long, and I'm going to take my head down and around, hold, and then right into the next round. So just a few of these rotations. Nice, deep breaths. And let's go just a little faster, just to wake up the body. Keep holding those abs in, and let's go ahead and turn us the other direction. Let's start slow, ear, back, the other side to that ear. My shoulders are dropping down, chin down, over, up, over, through, and around. Now I'm gonna open my feet just a little bit wider. I'm gonna have my toes turned out just a little bit now, and I'm gonna continue that feeling of really lifting up, right? I'm still pressing equally into all 10 of my toes and my heels. I'm just gonna start some shoulder circles, right? Or arm circles, right? Just circle those arms around, right? Try to get a full range of motion. Try to keep the abs in. Just loosening them up, warming up the body. Like I was saying, I feel really sore from the last few days and I really want to get a mobilizing workout into today. So we're gonna try to flush out all of that lactic acid. Now, take your shoulders up, down. Exaggerate, up, down. Inhale, exhale. Now bring up, up, back, down, around. I just have my hands in front of my thighs. Big circles if you can. And then in the other direction. So you wanna think about moving from the shoulder blade up, down, back, forward. Breathing in. and release it. So now I'm just gonna come to the wall. This stretch is great. So start with your hands about shoulder distance apart and bring your hands down to about hip height. We're gonna come to this nice wall stretch. So just, my legs are pretty straight. Maybe I'll put a little slight bend in the knees. 
and I'm just trying to get a big deep stretch through my upper back and my chest. My elbows should be straight, my abs are tight, and then from here let's just round and arch a few times. Inhaling and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Just a few more. Now hold it pretty neutral, right? So I'm in a flat back position and just push into the wall, send your hips back, try to stretch the space between your hands and your hips greatly. And then we'll just bend and stretch the knees a few times. And I want you to walk into your wall. I'm gonna come over here just so the camera doesn't cut me off. And I'm going to place one hand on the wall. You can totally do this with both um, with no hands if you wanted to, but it's just my warm up. And like I said, I am feeling kind of sore. So figure four squats. One ankle is right over my knee, going down, up, down, up. Now this night knee is really reaching out. Of course, will be much harder. Right there, yoga type move, exhaling down. And up once you put that hands in prayer pose, pose. As you can see, not that easy to do. And just hold down there. Maybe just give yourself a little stretch by taking your hand to that upper knee. And from here, I want you to come up, take that leg up as high as you can, and then back, right? Up, right? Back. So, you know, you could also go here. Let it go. Quad stretch, right? So up, really creasing that hip. Back, right? Really mobilizing leg move. Back. And then maybe just hold here for a second. Stand tall. And let that go. So now let's take that other ankle. I'll come here, just so you, I'm not giving you my arm. Ankle is over that knee. My hips are going back. And up. Exhale. Inhale. As I send my hips back, I'm also bending at my knee at my hip. You can take those hands off. Now all five of my down, but for me it's my left foot, it might be your right foot. Trying to really heat my body up, stretch out through my hips, engage through my core, and balance on all five of those toes. Okay, two more. Ha! And up, one more. Now bring that knee up, right? Crease that hip. And then stretch that front thigh, your quadricep, right? Bring it up. You can let it go if you need to. And back. Right, if you want to just try really playing around with balancing on that standing leg. Like I said, my hips feel super tight from the last few weeks and I just really wanted to give both myself and you a nice little break on day 13. Now I will be going live tomorrow and if you're watching this after the challenge, Technically, I mean, as it went live, if it's going live in January, uh, you'll be able to watch all of that on my IGTV, all of my IG live. I'm trying to record and put on IGTV. Uh, so I will hopefully see you there. Holding that stretch now, deep breath. Now I'm gonna shake it off. We're gonna come back here. Now this is one exercise Sometimes it's really nice to have a block. If you don't have a block, grab a book or you know just something to elevate yourself on, just because that gives you a little room when we do our leg swings. Now, we're gonna take our free leg up and around, right? And up and around. And I'll show you my view a little bit more. Up and around, up and around. Now you can be here. 
That would be a little easier. Or you can make these really big, like these kind of swinging hip circles. And let's go over to the other side. Right, if you've been looking for mobility-based routine, you know, these kind of hip circles, shoulder, all of these really activate those hip flexors, get you to stand on one leg. Right, really gets you allowed to play with that joint action. Remember, you're keeping it low. And my foot isn't really turned out. It has to kind of turn out as it goes in. But we really just want to let that muscle hang a little bit. And now, let's take it to the floor. I'm gonna slide that block away. And I'm gonna take it into a diamond sit position. Right, really, really gonna come forward. And then up. And forward. And up. Now I'm just gonna bring my body forward just a little bit, giving it a little bit of a stretch. And from here, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna raise the arms up, down. And I'm really trying to keep my spine tall. You can sit up on a block if your hips are too tight for this. Now take it up. Rotate, now this is the whole thing, keep your hips facing one way as you rotate in both directions, right? Rotate, rotate, rotate. Now rotate and just hold and come up and rotate and twist the other way. Now hold that position, right? When you're diamond, face the long way on your mat and we're gonna do some diamond crunches. So my feet, the soles of my feet are together. My abs are in tight. I'm gonna try to find my neutral spine here and take my hands behind the nape of my neck. Now I'm gonna be a little bit more arched in neutral here just because of the way, like there's nothing I can do. That would be like if I tried to get that to flat and you see how that's just kind of tucking me up. That's not what I want. I really wanna be in neutral because if you do the whole series here, it's just gonna be hard on your back to maintain it. So we're gonna crunch and come up. Now the name of the game is you're trying to keep your hips really stable. Crunch, right, exhale, inhale. Now come up and hold, squeeze the knees towards you together apart, right? Together apart, together. Now to, to me it's really natural for you up and together and apart. Up, apart, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Try to keep my elbows apart. As you can see, that's hard. And this is really nailing. Doing this at the same time, my lower belly. We're gonna go for eight, seven, right? Keep hugging those ab muscles in. I'm using the weight of my head. I'm supporting my hands with that weight of my head. So I'm lifting my chest and not my head to my arms. In my head, I'm really using my neck and my arms to help me with two, now hold, let's squeeze those thighs together, 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 together for four, three, two. Let your head go down, take the hands to your sides, hold that shape, raise it and lift it, right? Well, these are hard. Keep your spine neutral, lift, lower. Now maybe it'll go down all the way to the floor. Now let's add a crunch in. We won't do too many. Eight, right, abs are in, seven. Six, right, double diamonds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here. Let's just separate the feet and alternate for eight, seven, six, five. Hold those abs tight. Four, I'm moving from my hip to my knee, staying at one angle. One, now hold. Hold it here, reach for that opposite foot, opposite hand, now pulse, 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 pulse for five, four, three, two, 
one, take that side down, other side comes up and pulse, 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 and five, four, three, two, one. Right from there, I'm gonna have us turn, right? So turn and face me. I'm gonna come onto that side cheek and I am going to come on up from here and I'm going to do a quick sort of mermaid position. Let's actually start with the hands here. Line that elbow and that shoulder up. Bring this leg to 90 degrees and I want you to lift your bottom leg up. Straighten it out and take it down to the floor. Now really try hard to pull your abs in and up and we're going to raise and lower this leg a few times. And I'm really pushing my arm into here and I'm stabilizing as best I can, really keeping this lifted. Now hold it, right? I don't want that too high because we're gonna sweep back. Now, to make this harder, we can take this here, right? Sweep back, sweep back. My foot's parallel, four. Now squeeze your abs, maybe push back more, but make sure this is engaged and your hip isn't moving. Three. Two, hold it back, let's pulse it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, four, three, two. Now rotate that foot in, this is just a hip height out, in, out, in, you can always take that hand down. I'm trying to keep this foot at one height, four, three, two. One, now hold the turn, now bring it a little bit forward, kick it up, down, up, down, up, down, and stay really still on that arm, keep pushing into the mat, lifting your ribs, lifting your abs, two, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right from there, take that leg, lay onto your back, give it a stretch. Big, deep, super stretch here. Let's keep this leg down for right now. Come back to your neutral spine. Let's do a few leg circles with this leg. I'm gonna have you take it out and up, right? It's not a total circle, it's like a D. Can you get this fly out of here, honey? Fucking, why is there a fly in here? Anyway. It, Right, and my spine is neutral, and I'm circling that leg. Now, I'm gonna keep that leg up, and I'm gonna bring my opposite leg down and up in opposition. I'm holding in that neutral position. Now, can you hold that leg up and do the circle? Up and do the circle. And let's go in the other direction. And then maybe for this last round, you can take that, your hands behind your head and take your head on up for four, three, two, one. Come back to that mermaid and let's take it back for a deep hip stretch. Lift your chest, your knees are down, your hip can kind of come up. I'm on my, it'll be your right cheek if you're marrying me, but it's my left. And I wanna have you come back to your diamond, twist a few times. And then take the mermaid on this side. So I'm in that mermaid position and I'm gonna come over to my elbow. I'm gonna stay as lifted as I can. I'm gonna bring this to 90 degrees as I lift this leg up. Now we just did a few lifts here and it's more just to establish a really, really stable torso. Right, your hand can be here, it can also be behind the nape of the neck. You actually don't want to take that leg too high because I want you to get it to hip height and feel what that feels like and bring that leg forward and back without changing anything else in your body. You've got to engage your abs and your glutes. Your back. Forward. Back. Now 
and try not to raise or lower the foot. Now squeeze back without arching, right? Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, right? I'm really trying not to arch my back. And just hold it there, pulse back, back, back. Now turn it in, out from the hip. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In, out. Now bring it up, up a little bit more. Up, down, up, down, up, up. Up, a few more. I'm gonna take that hand up. Just hold it for four, three, two. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and take it down. And let's lay on to your back. And let's take that leg up, the leg that you just had lifted and give it a big deep stretch. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep find my neutral spine. I'm gonna keep this leg long and we're gonna start circles here. So out around, up. Right? This is definitely my harder side, definitely my tighter side on this move. And I'm really gonna work hard to keep that spine neutral, to keep that tiny bit of space. I've really got to stabilize with that right leg. Now we can hold this leg up and stay with that neutral spine and see if we can lower and lift that leg. Honestly, harder than it looks. Lots of hip work going on here. Really stay neutral so no space or just that tiny space is not changing. Now you can go back to your circle and maybe take the head up. Keep this leg in your table position. My spine is staying neutral and maybe reverse up and around. Change the direction that you were circling in. Keep both sides of your hips really still. Four more here. Breathing, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and flip on back to your mermaid. Take that stretch here before we come up into a big wide position with our feet. Let's turn your toes out and let's go into a few Pliés, right? Or goddess. If you do yoga, you'll hear this called goddess. And we're just gonna come on down and up and down and up. Now hold it there. Raise your spine tall. Turn the toes out. Reach your spine even taller. Abs are pulled in tight. Knees are right over the big middle of your foot, right? Let's reach those knees open wider. Now, let's take a few side bends. Side bend. Other side bend. And from there, let's hold it over. Stretch the leg for both legs and reach for, you can bend the knees if you need to, and reach for that ankle. Big deep stretch, keep weight in your toes. And let's go over to the other side. Soften the knees if you need to, abs are in super duper tight. Now let's go ahead and side bend in the goddess position. From there, come back, raise and lower your heels a few times, lift lower, lift lower. For four, three, two, hold it up, 
Maybe you can take your arms up. And now, can you take your hands by the nape of the neck? Give me a little side bend. Try to keep those heels high. Side bend, just six more. Six, five, four, three, chill, one. Drop those heels down. Melt yourself down really deep. Let's just come down for a quick kneeling lunge. Thank you so much for being here. It is day 13. So day 14 is technically a rest day. If you've been following my blog with all of the days, you would have known that. Uh, so go ahead and check out the blog. There's tons of stuff. I post pretty much every week something over there. Um, and if you are following me on Instagram, you'll know that uh, the contest is going to end in a few days to win the Pilates booty prize back. I'm wearing the socks, I'm wearing the booty shirts from Love Prima and Arabesque, and also the Moon Infusions uh, bottle. So make sure you tune in over there. It has been so lovely. Thank you for spending your workout time with me. Congrats on doing it. 14 days. If you're on that mailing list, check your inbox tomorrow, and I will see you on Monday.